Hey there, everybody, and welcome back to Vinyl Talk with Tavis, and I'm Tavis. This is just a quick video, which is like an update or a, a review or a second review of the turntable that I got a month and a half ago. On July the 25th, I believe, I purchased the Audio-Technica LP120X USB. And it's right here, still in all of its glory. And along with that turntable, I purchased the CR3 limited edition speakers. Here's the front of the box. Okay, and I got all of this at the Tar Center. I was gonna order it on Amazon, but it was gonna take too long and I wanted it right then. So Guitar Center had it and it comes in black. The turntable comes in black and silver. And I got the silver. And I was really shocked. Well, first of all, I wanted to put it together really slow and I wanted to make sure that I did everything right so I decided to videotape myself doing it I didn't think that it would be a big deal and I see now that the video has over 5,000 views and people from all over the world have been contacting me about how I like it now and would um, I suggest them to purchase it now after having it for this amount of time and I would absolutely say yes. So this is just a response to that video. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, vinyl community, dearest friends, all of you out there who are vinyl community enthusiasts or vinyl lovers, whatever the case may be, you know about this turntable. Maybe you have something that's better. Maybe you have something that's Ah, uh, it's okay, but you just love vinyl. But I tell you what, I had never owned a turntable this powerful. And so it completely changes the game of vinyl collecting. It makes you want to get vinyl over and over because you know it's going to sound good. I've quit collecting CDs. I will not pay $15 for a CD these days. I will pay 20 something dollars for a brand new LP before I buy a CD now because I enjoy vinyl. Now, let me tell you about my experience with this setup. When I first bought, I bought it all together, okay? When I bought the speakers with the turntable, I used the headphone jack to listen to it in my headphones. I use this area right here. I'm sorry for the lighting, but as you can tell, I used this. Uh, the aux in, or you see the headphone part? I used that and um, I turned up the speakers. I turned the volume up and for some reason, when I did that and I took out the headphone jack and listened to it regularly, the regular way, one of the speakers had busted. Um, what do you call it? They quit working. They were just making humming noises. And I had to take the speakers back to get brand new ones. And the Guitar Center just said, sure, just bring us all your, bring it in the box and we'll take care of you. So I was really shocked at how the speaker gave out so soon. But this speaker or these speakers have not done that. And I've listened to it through the headphones and there were no issues. There have been no issues. Now, um, one of the good things I've noticed about this turntable is that the records that I would play with my previous turntable, which was also an Audio Technica, it's the Audio Technica LP60. And it is a, um, fully automatic turntable. You can push start and the needle goes up and goes to the beginning of the record. And then when it gets to the end, 
it goes up and goes back to its resting place. Um, what I noticed about that turntable is that the records, if they were not really in good condition, they skipped or the needle skipped a lot. The music would skip. For example, in one of my early videos, I showed that I bought Star Wars at Target and it was on sale. It was like, I think I forgot what price it was, but it was so cheap I had to get it. And when I began playing this record on my older turntable, it was skipping and I was totally shocked. I didn't realize that a new album was skipped like that. And it skipped pretty much through all of, it's a double LP, it skipped through most of the album. And I was going to give this as VCLT. But I said, no, I don't want to give a bad record to someone. So I just kept it. When I played this on this turntable, on the LP, what is it? <laughs> LP120X USB. This record does not skip. And I had a good friend from a record company who told me that since I had purchased this, she said, Tavis, you'll realize that you won't hear a lot of skipping on the records. And I have noticed that. The cartridge and what, what do you call it? It's the, the needle, the cartridge, the head shell. The cartridge on this bad boy is really good. So it comes with the turntable. You have the option to change out I don't see why you would want to change out unless you're playing 78s. Maybe there's a purpose for that. But the head shell and cartridge that comes with this turntable is top notch. And this album does not skip. To be honest with you, I'm telling you the truth, ladies and gentlemen. This turntable, I've not had any record skip. Even if there seems to be some scratches, if it looks like it's scratched, you just hear it pass by the the scratch, but you hear it, you hear the song in, in totality. And I'm not saying that it will never skip or that a record will never skip, but so far I've not had any skips. Um, I don't use the light, the, the Q light that much, and I have it here somewhere. Oh, here it is. This is the little Q light that comes with it. And you sit it on this area and I'll show you. You sit it here, you put it in here. And when you turn on the turntable, that light is on. Now, you know, that's for, to me, that's for show, um, a little fun feature, but I don't really use that. So I just have it set aside up here on a tray in case I use it at night. It's just no big deal for me. I don't care for that. It's not something that I need, okay? Next, um, this is a fully manual turntable. So you have to be comfortable in setting the needle on the, on the album it has its, um, the lift up part where you can, you know, lift up the needle and you just place it where you want it to go. And then you pull this down and the needle will go down on the album on the place you want it. But I wish, <laughs> I really wish that it was, um, at least semi automatic. <laughs> <laughs> you know, because last night uh, um, I was listening to the Beatles, Abbey Road, again. And I was in my couch or on my recliner and I went to sleep. The, the sound was so good. These speakers are really good. The CR3, these speakers, I, I would highly recommend. Now, they normally come in green you see a green light, but this is not a green light. This is just gold. It's beautiful, great sound. But I've digressed. 
Um, when I went to sleep, you know, the record was still turning and it was in the no wax area. What do you call it? The no sound zone of the record. And I said, oh my God, I wonder how long I've been asleep. And I was worried that, you know, the needle was going to mess up and all that. But no, that's not been the case. So again, I've had no problems. This has been a fantastic turntable, other than the fact that my speakers, had, which had nothing to do with the turntable, it was the sp a speaker malfunction. The turntable itself is phenomenal. I highly recommend it. No issues whatsoever, whatsoever. I've, and I played my 45s, they sound great. I played my 33s, they sound great. So again, this is just a quick update on um, that video of me assembling this. And I'm really shocked that all of you have watched it and have enjoyed it. And all of your feedback has been wonderful. And I hope that this answers some of your questions on how I feel about it now. About two months later, it seems maybe a month and I bought it in July 25, July 25. And this is then August 25. It's almost two months. Yes. Yeah, coming up on two months. No problems. Okay. So everybody, um, get you a turntable, no matter what it is. But if you want this one, I highly recommend it. Okay. And as always with music, be inspired and stay inspired.